here let's say we have an integer field member in petrol engine named power capacity and it is an integer and let's initialize this power capacity in a constructor take an integer argument and assign this power capacity now if you try to create a car instance inside that it will try to create an engine and when it's try to create a petrol engine instance dagger will try to create a value for power capacity but dagger doesn't know what value to assign power capacity and to implement to execute this constructor and now dagger can't create a petrol engine let's see the exact exception what dagger gives as you can see we have got an error saying integer cannot be provided without an inject constructor so dagger can create an instance only if any class constructor has inject annotation and now integer doesn't have an inject now we can't keep any inject value so there should be an other way to provide a value to integer argument so the other way means we need to go to module petrol engine and petrol engine module and this module is responsible to create engine instance petrol engine so in this method we need to have implementation and provide the integer so if it is binds then we can't implement anything let's change this to normal function and let's change this to normal class and keep provide annotation as in the previous tutorials and let's have let's have a implementation for this and now petrol engine we should remove because dagger doesn't know how to create it we need to create here petrol engine and petrol engine as an argument and we can pass any value here and in petrol engine when we are starting we will print this value power capacity so now here we need to get a 100 value let's execute and see the output now in this case the petrol engine object is not created directly by dagger we are creating in petrol engine module and providing it to dagger and let's see the output so as you can see here the power capacity is 100 as we have passed 100 here so this is hard coded value of 100 we are providing inside module but we need to pass this power capacity to petrol engine module so we need to have a constructor which will take a integer argument and we need to have power capacity as integer and assign that one here Now we can pass this power capacity as argument and we have created a constructor but how to pass power capacity to this constructor. If you go to car component we are providing a petrol engine module. So if you try to rebuild this project the dagger will create an implementation class dagger car component and we will see the implementation it should have a method for creating a petrol engine module and it should have a method to pass a petrol engine module instance so now dagger car component it is telling there is no create method so if any module is having a constructor with values then there won't be any create method in this case we will have a builder method and here we will have a petrol engine module to provide petrol engine module instance and here we can pass 100 and finally we can build it so let's again see first the builder method then we need to call a petrol engine module 
we will create a new instance of module and pass 100 and finally build. So here we are passing a runtime value to the power capacity. If you go to dagger car component, this class is implementation of the car component. This car component interface is written by us and this whole implementation is created by dagger internally. So dagger car component, we have a builder method which will provide a new builder and let's go to builder class and builder method and we have a petrol engine module which will take petrol engine module instance that we are passing in main activity and finally we have a build which will return an instance of dagger car component. So you can slowly understand the implementation of the dagger component car component which is created automatically by dagger and now let's execute this project and see we need to get same output as 100. So the build is successful and we will see the output getting installed we are getting the output so as you can see we have got the power capacity as 100 here if you want we can change the value and see again the output so this is the process of passing runtime values to the dependent objects through the module So as you can see now the power capacity is 300. I hope you understand this dagger library and how to pass the runtime values. Please like, share and subscribe my channel and please follow up for more tutorials in Kotlin and thank you for watching.